She was considered as an aggressive woman because she never wanted to fit in the role of the nice and quiet and helpful black woman. She was a writer and she wrote because for her it was a necessity. It was how she made sense of her life and her living conditions. Today I'm going to talk about Maria Carolina de Jesus. She was a Brazilian writer. She lived in the favelas of São Paulo and her work was to pick up paper and sell them and that's how she supported herself and her three children. Uh, she used to keep the good paper as she called so she could write. She knew the power of words and she was very well known in the favelas because whenever she saw people doing something wrong or that she didn't agree with she used to tell them I'm gonna put you in my book and people would just stop doing what they were doing and then one day there was this journalist that came to the favelas to write about it and he met Carolina she showed him her diaries and he was amazed with what he read he helped her to publish her book which was called Child of the Dark, the diary of Maria Carolina de Jesus. And it was a big success. And it was translated to more than 10 languages. When she was young, she used to work as a maid in a house of this doctor. And he had this very big library. So when was her days off? Instead of going home and to rest and to have fun or just enjoy, she used to stay there because the doctor let her use the library and she could read everything she wanted to. And this is, was how she um, educated herself because Maria Carolina didn't finish her primary school. So she was a very curious woman. Uh, she used to ask questions about everything and she used to uh, observe people, listen to the radio, talk, and she wanted to know everything she could and when she was writing Carolina used to write about her own reality and unfortunately her reality was hunger and that's what she wrote about her book was very good was very powerful but it was read as a metaphor by the middle classes in Brazil but for the people who knew her and uh, who weren't so um, who didn't have very good con life conditions. They didn't read it as a metaphor, they read it as reality because that's what it was and they felt like they were characters in, this, in, their, in her book because they lived the same kind of life, they went through the same kind of struggles. So she gave all of these people her, her voice. It was her reality but, but it was their reality as well. Although her book was a big success, uh, it was translated all over the world. The Brazilian academic world didn't really, never really saw her as a writer because she didn't have a formal education. Why? I keep asking myself why the academic world just didn't accept her as a, a, as a real writer because she didn't have a formal education, but is it being a artist or a writer about the form or is it about the content because even though she didn't go to colleges what she was writing what she was creating was powerful and her like many other artists didn't have a formal education but that didn't kept them from producing something amazing that changed people's lives it is very curious but also very sad that at the time people don't be, didn't believe that she was capable of writing such a book because someone that looked like her couldn't do that. So they thought it was a scheme between her and the journalist that discovered her. People would think how a black woman like that, someone that looked like her, could write such powerful words and even though she wasn't considered as part of the club 
she became a celebrity she was known and she was invited to parties she became a celebrity people recognized her um, and they wanted her to be around but not as an equal but as someone that was just exotic and that brought some kind of um, aura to their lives but this disbelief between uh, her being able to write what she wrote and coming from where she came was sub the subject of her second book which was a failure because nobody wanted to admit that they were doing this that they didn't give her the recognition that she deserved which is very strange because her books are read and studied outside of Brazil but in Brazil she was just forgotten after the 70s. Carolina wasn't a very easygoing person. I mean, she had a very difficult life, so it was only natural that she had difficulties trusting people. Carolina's story could have been a fairy tale, but she made a lot of money with her book, but she also lost most of that money. So in the end, she bought a farm in Minas Gerais, and she went to live there for the rest of her life. I think it's very sad that a person like her who had so much to say and did say so many important things wasn't recognized, wasn't um, acknowledged as a writer that she was. Do you know Maria Carolina's books? Well, if you don't know them, I highly recommend it to you to read. I can guarantee you're not going to be the same person after you've read it. So tell me what you think about her story and if you know her books and leave it a comment. And well, thank you for watching again and bye-bye.